If you want to learn how to code faster, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Because here's the thing, most people are learning to code in the wrong way. They follow tutorials, memorize syntax, and still can't build anything from scratch. But the problem isn't you, it's how you're learning. I've been coding professionally for over 13 years. I've led dev teams and mentored thousands of beginners through my YouTube channel and community. And I've seen this mistake over and over and over again. And to be honest with you, I even made it myself. So in this video, I'm going to break down the method that actually works in five steps. The same one that helped thousands of beginners finally start thinking like real developers, escape tutorial hell and make consistent progress week after week. So let's dive in. When I first started learning how to code, I made every mistake in the book. I jumped from course to course, copied code line by line, and by the end of it, I couldn't build a single thing on my own. Back then, I was working a full-time job, trying to squeeze coding between late nights and weekends. So I know exactly how overwhelming it feels. I remember finishing a 12-hour JavaScript course, feeling proud. Then opening a blank file and completely freezing. It was like my brain forgot everything the moment the instructor stopped talking. I thought maybe I just wasn't smart enough, but it wasn't that. It was the way I was learning. And here's what blew my mind. The moment I changed this one thing, everything started to make sense. See, tutorials make you feel productive because you're typing, but your brain isn't actually learning how to solve problems. It's just following instructions. That's why so many people stay stuck for months or even years in that same loop. Once I realized that, I stopped trying to finish tutorials and started trying to build things instead. And that's when everything clicked. In the next 60 seconds, I'll show you exactly what I changed and why it works 10 times better than the tutorial grind. After mentoring and guiding so many students from complete beginners to junior developers, I started noticing the same exact pattern behind who improves fast and who gets stuck. And that's when it hit me. Learning to code isn't hard. It's just misunderstood. Everyone online teaches you to focus on the wrong thing. Finishing courses, memorizing syntax, grinding through 100 hours of tutorials. But real developers don't chase completion. They chase comprehension. Think of it like this. Watching tutorials without building is like watching gym videos and expecting to get in shape. You might feel productive, you're watching, you're taking notes, that's great, but you're not actually doing the work that builds the muscle, unfortunately. Coding works the exact same way. Until you actually build something, your brain doesn't make the connections that turn theory into skill. And once I understood that, everything changed. In the next section, I'll show you the first step to breaking that loop and finally learning like a real developer. Lesson one, the problem isn't you. Most tutorials are built backwards. They show you how to do something before explaining why you're doing it. So you end up following steps like a robot. Your code works, but you have no idea how it works. That's not learning, that's imitation. And when you imitate for too long, you start to believe you're not smart enough to figure things out on your own. But the truth is, you are. You just never got the chance to think like a developer. Developers don't memorize syntax, they solve problems. They Google, they break stuff, they test ideas, they fail. And they learn from every error message. The goal here isn't to know everything, it's to know how to find everything. And that's the real skill that schools and tutorials forget to teach you. You stop saying, I don't know how to do it. And you start saying, I don't know how to do it yet. Lesson two, tutorials don't teach, lessons do. If lesson one was about understanding why you've been stuck, this one is about how to finally get unstuck. Here's the truth. Tutorials are just training wheels. You're not supposed to write them forever. The goal isn't to finish a course, it's to finish a project because every project forces your brain to connect what you've learned in ways a tutorial never can. When you build something, you stop consuming and start creating. You start asking better questions, you start problem solving, you start thinking like a proper developer. I still remember the first time I built something real, a tiny weather application. I had no idea what an API even was. I just Googled until it worked. And that one project taught me more than 50 hours of tutorials combined. So if you're thinking, but Pete, I'm not ready to build yet. That's the whole point, my dear legend. You will never feel ready. You don't wait for confidence before you start. You start and that's how confidence shows up. Pick one small project this week. 
doesn't matter if it's ugly, messy, or completely broken. That's the point. Build it, break it, fix it, learn. And let me tell you a little secret. That's how every developer you admire actually learn. Lesson three, AI will not replace you, it will amplify you. Now let's talk about the one thing everyone is scared of right now, AI. Every week I get a comment saying, Pete, why learn to code if AI is going to do it all? Here's the truth. AI isn't replacing developers. It's replacing the developers who refuse to adapt. Because AI doesn't eliminate coding, it eliminates busy work. It handles the boring stuff so you can actually focus on the creative problem solving side. The part that humans are actually amazing at. Think of AI like a gym trainer. It can show you perfect form, count your reps and keep you consistent. But it can't lift the weights for you. Can it? You still have to do the work that builds the muscle. So instead of fearing AI, use it to learn faster. When you get stuck, don't just ask AI to fix your code, ask it why it broke. When you finish a project, ask, how could I have written this better? That's how you turn AI from a shortcut into a super mentor. Because the best developers of this decade won't be the ones who memorize the most code, they will be the ones who know how to collaborate with AI the best. Lesson four, the three C rule. By now, you probably get it. Learning to code isn't about grinding harder, it's about learning smarter. And the system that finally made it all click for me is something I call the three C rule. And it works whether you're using AI or not. So C number one, clarify. Use whatever tool you have, YouTube, AI, documentation, to understand before you copy. Don't skip the why. If something is confusing, ask AI to explain it like you're five years old. Get clarity before you chase shortcuts. C number two, create. Once you understand something, build with it immediately. You can ask AI for structure, ideas, or feedback, but make sure you're still typing and still thinking because that's where real learning happens. C number three, check. When you're done, use AI or a more experienced developer to review your code. Ask for improvements, optimizations, or edge cases you missed. Reflection turns effort into skill. So follow these three steps, clarify, create, check, and you will flip your entire learning process. AI will not think for you, it will think with you. And that's the difference between using AI and letting AI use you. Lesson five, coding isn't a sprint, it's a system. Most people treat learning to code like a sprint. They binge tutorials for a week burn out, disappear for a month, and then feel guilty for starting over. That's not how developers grow. You don't need 10 hours a day, you need one focused hour repeated consistently. Think of your progress like compound interest. Tiny and consistent effort adds up faster than random bursts of energy. Here's how you do it. Step one, pick one topic for the week, just one. Step two, apply the three C rule. Clarify, create, check. Step three, repeat. And that's it. You will be shocked how much you learn when you stop trying to finish things and start building habits instead. Stop chasing speed, start chasing systems. Because consistency isn't just the fastest way to learn, it's the only way to learn. So remember, learning to code isn't hard. It's not supposed to be hard. It's just misunderstood. The real way to learn is simple. Stop trying to finish tutorials, start building real projects. Use AI as your mentor, not your replacement, and follow the three C rule and stay consistent, even if it's for just one hour every day. If you do that, you will look back a few months from now and realize that you're not just learning to code anymore. You are a developer. And if you ever feel stuck or lost again, you don't have to do this alone. Thousands of beginners have already used this system to finally break out of tutorial hell, and they are helping others do the same inside our Discord. So join us. It's full of people just like you, learning, sharing wins, and helping each other grow. Follow me on Instagram for daily coding motivation, behind the scenes, and the occasional caffeine overdose. And if this video helped you, give it a like, subscribe, and comment below, and tell me what you're working on right now. I read every single comment. If you want to escape tutorial hell, watch this video next. Thanks for watching, you legends. I'm Pete, and I'll see you on the next one.